Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elisa with Fusion DIY and I'm so delighted that you decided to join me today. I take things that I find in thrift stores and yard sales and flea markets and I paint them, I repurpose them and I change them up so that they can be reused and I sell them in my booth at the Pickers Junction in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. So yesterday and this past week I did some thrifting and I wanted to share with you some of the wonderful things that I found. You'll be amazed. First I found this pair, there's two of them, of lanterns. Now they are very dirty and they have some rust on them and they definitely need to be painted. But believe it or not, these were $4.94 for the pair. So I'm gonna check into how to get rid of some of that rust and I'm gonna repaint them and I'm gonna clean them up and they're gonna be absolutely beautiful when I'm done. So I'm excited about those. That was a really good find. Sometimes it pays to get into the store early in the morning. I also found this little colander and I think it is just adorable. I paid $1.91 for it and I'm not gonna do anything to it. I think what I might do is just save it for Christmas and put some ornaments or some kind of decoration in here. For $1.91, I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was a great buy. I also found this pitcher and again, $1.91, so I didn't pay a lot of money for that. And I will just clean it up. It doesn't need to be repainted, except I've got to get that awful uh, grease gun, a uh, grease pen off of here. Um, so I'm hoping that I don't have to repaint it, but it's in great condition and it was $1.91. And so I'll probably put some floral in it, uh, maybe even some Christmas floral, and I'm gonna sell that. Whenever I find these, I always pick them up because they sell very, very well for me. These are the cow creamers. This was $1.91 and I'll put that in my booth. It just requires a little bit of soap and water and elbow grease to get the uh, grease pencil off of it and we'll be good. This I actually picked up for me. And I don't know if you guys know the history of these plates, but this was, this is a Homer Laughlin plate and on the back, it actually has a date of when it was made. And this one is very, very, very light. So I can't really read it all that well. But the plate was $2.92. And actually, these were dishes that were given away at the movies. So back in the 40s, uh, and I think it was the 40s, uh, when they had a movie night, they also gave away a dish. And so my aunt had quite the collection. I guess they did a lot of movies back then. But um, I purchased it and I'm going to put it in with the collection that I have. I just love the pattern. Okay, let's see what else we got. Yes, I picked up this cheese box. Now it is very primitive looking, but it's in great condition. There's no cracks, no chips in it. There, it's totally intact and it's really, it looks great. This is what it looks like now. And if you're into the primitive look, that would be perfect for you. I'm not, uh, my taste is more farmhouse and shabby chic. So what I'm going to do is paint this and I think I'm gonna put a transfer on it or maybe I'll decoupage some, something on it, but it was $1.91. So I'm gonna enjoy making that over. I also found this tissue box and I've had tissue boxes in my booth that I've actually decoupaged and every time I put them in they sell. So I picked this up it was $1.91 as well so I thought that was a really good find. And then finally I went up to my booth today uh, because I like to get up there once a week and just refresh it and move things around and add some things. And I found on the side of the road, this. This is a headboard, it's a twin size headboard. And I know you guys have seen these before, but I'm not going to keep it a headboard. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take it apart. And basically this is free wood. So I'll probably end up cutting it here on each side 
and then I'm going to make some sort of a sign out of this. And I'll use these at a later date as well as this and this for some other project. But this is the kind of item that when you find it, it was free on the side of the road. So I stopped and I grabbed it and I am going to enjoy making that over. So that was a mini thrift haul. Um, I am taking a vacation day this week from work one day and I'm gonna go out thrifting again. So if I have more to add, I'll add it at the end of this video, but stick around because I'm going to be working on a couple of projects and I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. You guys may remember this ceramic duck. I picked him up at the Habitat Restore a couple of weeks ago and I paid $1 for him. I thought he was really cute. He doesn't have any chips, but the paint was really in rough shape on him. So I decided that I was going to give him a very manly look and I took some baking soda, one teaspoon of baking soda to one teaspoon of black paint and I stippled on the paint. I didn't actually paint it, I stippled it on. And so it gave it a lot of texture and I just thought that this guy turned out really cute. And you will see coming up in a couple minutes, couple seconds, you'll see the finished product. He's currently in my booth and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to video myself putting the white wax on him. I thought my camera was running but it was not and once it's done it's done so unfortunately you won't get to see that but you can see the finished product here and I hope that you enjoy this. So this was the headboard that I showed you earlier in the video. It was free 99, as we like to say. I picked it up on the side of the road. It didn't cost me anything. And so I am taking my jigsaw and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the wood off of the side pieces, off the legs, because I'm going to make a sign out of this. And I will tell you that when I saw that, headboard on the side of the road. I knew exactly what I was going to do with it. I knew exactly the color it was going to be, and it definitely worked out to my vision. Um, so I'm taking my jigsaw and I'm cutting off the side pieces there. Um, I will tell you that as I was filming this video, I had gotten the one side done and then I went to cut the other side and in the middle of the process my jigsaw died <laughs> so I was able to get the headboard removed from the side rails um, with a little bit of an ordeal but we did get it done so um, I was able to go ahead and keep working on this video but yeah it was unfortunate so I actually had to go and purchase another another um, jigsaw after I finished this video. Now the other pieces, I'm thinking that the side pieces I'm going to use at a later date and also the extra pieces of wood, I'm not throwing anything out because I can definitely use those pieces of wood in the future. I don't know for what, but it's often common that you need a random piece of wood here and there. So now I'm just taking my palm sander and I am sanding down both the front and the back of the board. And I'm smoothing out any of the rough edges from where I cut it from the legs. I'm also smoothing out the top and just rounding it off just a little bit to make it a little bit less dangerous. So I'm taking my cred cutter and I'm just gonna wipe it down to get rid of the dust and any fingerprints, anything that would keep the paint from adhering. You can see that I added the hanging hardware on it. I did that before I cleaned it and I didn't 
want to show you guys. I figured I'd spare you the details of having to put the hanging hardware on, uh, but I did. And so then I took some black paint, um, and this is actually the color place that's Walmart's brand in black onyx. I just use these little bottles and I refill them because it makes it easier to uh, to paint rather than having to haul out this big gallon of paint every time I want to paint something black. So I'm giving it a coat of black and this is really to prevent the bleed through from coming through. If it's going to bleed through at all, you're not going to see it through the black paint. So that was the method to my madness. And I gave it one coat of the black onyx paint. I also did the sides and the top just to make sure all of that was painted as well that they were not forgotten. Now I'm taking this country chic paint and I'm going to give the headboard a coat. This paint, I absolutely love this color. I had seen it at the Pickers Junction where my booth is. One of the people there used this on a project and it was just beautiful. And so I picked up the, um, the paint and as I said, when I saw this headboard, I knew exactly what it was going to be and how it was going to look. So I'm giving it a coat of paint and then I'm gonna let it sit overnight to dry. I'm also giving it a coat of paint along the edges so that I don't forget to do those because knowing me, I would forget. So after the paint dried, I gave it a second coat, and then there were some places where I also needed to give it another coat. So probably about two and a half coats of paint um, it took, but I still, I love this color. I love it, love it, love it. I believe the color is called mustard, in case anybody is interested, and I just thought it turned out beautiful. Now, once the paint was dry, I picked up a stencil that, actually I've had this stencil for a while, but I'm trying to center it on the board just to make sure that it's in the right place. And I'm gonna scotch tape it or um, tape it down with masking tape so that I can stencil. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a cosmetic sponge and I'm simply dabbing up and down and I'm not going to make you guys sit through this whole thing. It took me quite a while to stencil this. I would say it probably took a good half hour, 40 minutes because there's a lot of little words and of course the, the frame around the words. Uh, that all took a while. So I... I took my time and I let it, I just took it easy and enjoy the process. And that's what uh, Cindy over at Reinventing Delaware says, enjoy the process. And so that's what I was doing. But let me tell you, I was glad when I was finished stenciling because there was quite a lot to it. Now immediately, as soon as the stencil, as soon as I'm finished stenciling, I will pull the stencil up and then I'm going to run over to the sink and I'm going to wash my stencil. I've had these stencils for a couple of years and they've lasted me a good long while because I take good care of them. But here is the reveal. Doesn't that look great? I just love how that turned out but we're not done yet. So now I'm going to sand it down and distress it a little bit. I don't want that paint looking so pristine. So I'm gonna sand it and I'm going to make it look less new.
And then once I've distressed the paint, I'm going to go back and I'm going to give it a coat of clear wax. Now, some of you may already know this, and some of you may not know this, but when you put down clear wax, then if you decide to go over it like I'm doing here with dark wax, if you want to remove some of that dark wax, you simply take the clear wax again and remove whatever you want to remove. So the clear wax acts as an eraser. So just remember that and definitely put down a coat of clear wax before you put down your dark wax. And as I was doing this, I was just watching the richness of this paint come through. I just felt like the more wax I put on it, the more beautiful the color became. It gave it some depth. And I just absolutely loved how this dark wax enhanced this paint. And I'm also giving the edges a nice coat of the dark wax as well. This is not straight up dark wax. It's been watered down a little bit. So it's a little bit more um, malleable. It's a little bit easier to use. But I just thought, oh my gosh, I love, I love how that turned out, that look with the dark wax. And now what I'm doing is I'm measuring where I want to put my hooks. I bought six hooks at... The Home Depot and I thought that would be perfect because I was using the dark wax uh, the, the dark paint on the sign and once I figured all that out I started to put my hooks in place and then I took a pencil and I scribbled in where the the holes should be drilled and so I did that for all six of the hooks And once that was done, then I went ahead and I drilled my pilot holes. Now, I like to drill pilot holes because it prevents the wood from splitting. So if you don't typically do that, I would encourage you to do that. So now I'm taking my drill and just drilling the pilot holes. And once the holes are drilled, then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to add the hardware to it. And I contemplated silver or black, and I'm very glad that I went with the black hooks. And yet, So here's the finished piece, and you'll also see what it looks like when I put it in my booth. So welcome back. What did you think of the two projects? that I worked on. I thought that general store sign turned out beautiful and the color that I used on it was called mustard. So I think that it's just a beautiful color and when I put the dark wax over it, it just really, really enhanced that color. Kind of a primitive color. I don't know if everybody's really into that mustard color, but I know somebody out there is going to love it. When I got it over to my booth today, the woman that owns the, the business 
took a picture of it and is featuring it on her Facebook page, on the Pickers Junction Facebook page. So hopefully this time next week it'll be sold. So, but it was a fun project and very simple to do and I enjoyed every single minute of that. Okay, so I did go thrifting uh, and I wanna show you some of the items that I found. First, I found these two boards and I know you guys have seen them. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand all of this off and then I'm going to make a sign out of it. Um, I've had some good success with a particular stencil that I found and uh, the stencil fits perfectly on these types of boards. So, and it's got the hanging hardware on the back and I paid a dollar for each of these. So the wood alone was worth the one dollar. So I'll be working on those probably this week. I also found this memo board. I think that's really cute. I'm probably gonna paint it and distress it and it too has the hanging hardware on the back. So I will definitely paint that up and put that in my booth as well. Again, another piece of wood. Uh, this has a little bit of an art project on it, but I'm not going to keep it this way. But this was a dollar as well, and it's got the hanging hardware on it, so a lot of the work is really done already. So I'm probably going to make a sign out of this as well. With the holidays coming up, uh, I'll probably do something for Thanksgiving on that. And then, I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of weeks ago, I got a square, I think it was a toy chest, and I needed feet for it. Well, if you've priced out four feet, in Home Depot or Lowe's. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. So I found these in my Habitat Restore. I got four of them and they were $2 a piece. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut them down and I will use those on the box. I couldn't believe that I found them because usually you don't. Uh, and so I think that it was because I was there on a Friday and not on Saturday. So when you're there during the week, you can find things uh, that you don't normally find on the weekend. So that was exciting. I did pick up this little tray. Um, it is going to be for Christmas. I'm probably going to put some kind of a cute vignette in there. I think I will probably put some jars um, with uh, some, some tea lights in them. Um, but I'm going to really not do anything to this. I believe this was a dollar, but the Habitat Restore had 75% off all holiday. So this was probably, gosh, less than 50 cents. So I thought that was a great find. It is green. It's not black. I don't know how it's showing on your, uh, your screen, but it is a, a hunter green. So I like that color a lot. Then I found this and this is a round picture frame. It is plastic, but what I plan on doing with it is painting it, and then I'm going to put some kind of a mold in here. I'm not sure what yet, uh, but I'm going to do something in there, and it's going to be beautiful when it's done. So I thought that was for a dollar. It's brand new, never been opened, and um, I'm definitely going to use that. What else did I find? I also found a set of three of these. And they are pint milk bottles. And I have to tell you, every time I put milk bottles in my booth, they sell immediately. I had, I put one, a regular, um, a quart milk bottle last week I put in, was gone this week. I put a pint milk bottle in there that I, I painted and shabby chiced it, that sold. Um, and so every time, like I said, I put the uh, bottles in there, I sell them. So I'm going to keep doing it. These were three for a dollar. I'm sorry, uh, three for three dollars. So they were a dollar a piece. There is a third one here somewhere. I just got to find it. I think here it is. Yep, there's the third one. Three dollars for the set. So for a dollar each, I couldn't, I definitely couldn't pass that up. I found some napkins and what I plan on doing with these is I plan on sewing some little fabric Christmas trees and I'll do that in a later, um, a later video. Uh, but I just thought these were really pretty and I got this one, I got red, 
and I also got this real pretty Christmas plaid. So I thought these were great. These were two for 50 cents. These were three for 75 cents. So basically they were 25 cents a piece uh, for each napkin. So I thought that was a pretty good deal and I, I wanted to start working on those. This I absolutely love. I think I paid $2 less 75%. It is a needlepoint stocking. It is definitely lined. It's got a real pretty green lining. 100% wool on the outside and 100% cotton on the inside. So it is, and the back is velvet. So it's really, really pretty. And I'm sure that somebody's going to snatch that up. Like I said, it was $2 less 75%, so $1.40 off, so probably brought it to about 60 cents, which is a great, a great price that I just could not pass up. This little wooden shoe was also a dollar. And what I'm going to do with this is I am going to sand it down. I'm probably going to decoupage something on here, and then I'm going to put a succulent in there probably a faux succulent, but I'll put a succulent in there. I just thought, what a cute idea. And we'll see if it sells. Like I said, it was only a dollar, so it wasn't a major investment. And then I found a set of these dishes. I think there's nine altogether. Two, maybe there's eight. Um, these are rose crest is, I believe, the pattern but I got a bunch of them. Aren't they pretty? I just love the pattern. I don't know if they'll sell, but they were a dollar for the whole set. So even if they don't sell, I'll save them and use them for something in my own home. Okay, that's it on this box. And then I went to the Salvation Army store and I picked up two more pieces of wood. These were 99 cents each, this one and this one. And um, I will sand these down and I'm gonna do something with them. Like I said, I'll probably make signs with them. Uh, and I need to add the hanging hardware, but you know, for the price for 99 cents, I couldn't. You can't buy wood nowadays for that. And then I found some Christmas ribbon and this Christmas ribbon was 25 cents a roll. So I spent a dollar for the four rolls, which I thought was a great buy. And then I found this. I was walking, I was on my way to the cash register and I found this. Now disregard what it says on the inside because that really doesn't matter. There are two keyholes right here. And so I'm assuming that this sat on somebody's front door uh, because the the paint is very, you can tell the wood is very dry, the paint is chipping, but <coughs> I am going to fill in the holes, I'm going to paint the sign, I'm going to recondition the wood, and I'm going to make something beautiful out of this because I really love the shape of the wood. And this too also has the hanging hardware on it, so that part of it I don't have to do, and that's a huge help. So this was $4.99, and I really thought it was a great find. I also found, found a garbage can. This is actually going to my office, and uh, we'll be using that. I found this wood round, and you guys know, if you've priced these out recently in Home Depot, last time I looked, this size was $11.99. So if you want to make a charcuterie board, here you go. This is, this is how you do it. This was $2.99. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I may make it a charcuterie board. I may do something different with it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but it's definitely um, a really nice board and we'll see what, what it tells me it wants to be when it grows up. I found this coffee pot. This was $2.99, and if you've looked at these online, this looks like it's brand new, it's never been used, it does not have the insides, but when you look at them online, they are advertised as not having the percolator piece uh, when they're sold. 
So, and I believe I saw it on Amazon for $14.99. So I'm just gonna price it and put it in my booth. I'm not gonna charge a whole lot for it because I didn't pay a whole lot for it. $2.99, $3, maybe I'll put it at $10 just to to turn it over again my whole thing is how quickly can i turn things over that's what i like to do and then i also found this this must be a, a month for colanders uh, this one is a blue enamel colander this was 2.99 as well as you may recall in my last week's video i actually found a smaller red one that was a dollar 91 so i have this one now and i have the red one and i just love the enamel wear i really oh, i'm not sure i want to part with this one i love enamel wear i love it love it love it um, this looks like it's brand new although it does have a couple of dings on the bottom but it's really in great condition so um, i'm not sure that i'm gonna i'm not sure i'm gonna sell it i'm not sure i can part with it so that's basically my thrift haul and my projects. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. And each time I release another video, you'll be notified. Once again, thanks for joining me. Have an awesome week and God bless.